just just make sure to be careful because it can really you know affect yourself and people around you um, like I, I know a person who had um, you know who had to face the worst uh, consequence by making a lot of mistakes and um, it was because of those mistakes that really you know affected pe the people around him um, you know if you make a promise with um, you know with team or you know the people around you you need to be responsible and really keep those promises not break them and um, so you know while it's okay to make mistakes like you know everyone makes mistakes it's, it's, it's really fine but um, just remember to think of you know the people around you and um, think you know very carefully about your future and you know what you want to do like your dreams and everything because you know the actions and decisions that you make could become a really like it, it, it could become a very big turning point in your life they know what I mean so let's talk about this crazy situation but we have to approach this one very cautiously what I mean is that there are a few other artists' names being mentioned at this point, but those are way more of a speculative thing at this point, so I don't think it's a good idea to bring My them up. The information that I show is the information that I'm exposed to right now, and let me put out a huge disclaimer. Please do not send hate to Wujin or Straight Kids. This is simply to report the news. So for those who don't know, Wujin left Straight Kids back in October 2019, but they are not a part of it. But I'm bringing it up because the reason that he left was due to personal circumstances. We don't know if it was due to his health or if he did something to lead to his departure. There has been some speculation that he must have done something, but again, we cannot be sure. He seems to have convinced many fans that he was kicked out of the group and JRP knew why. So, a few nights ago, a couple of posts blew up on Twitter detailing their experiences with a certain idol that took place a few months back. You can pause and read more in detail on what's on the screen. But a brief summary, both incidents took place at a bar. He used his idol status a lot with these girls. He told them that he liked western girls because of their body. The post illustrated that even after expressing disinterest, he wouldn't leave them alone. Apparently pushed one of their wrists. Thankfully someone at the bar noticed, so it didn't escalate further. From that, both of these posts seem to have pointed out Wujin, and he actually responded to the accusations on his Instagram, saying someone is posting these weird rumors and then deleting their account. He's never met that person, and he's never been to those places, and his company would take legal action, a company that may not actually exist, but I'll go into that later, but then he talked about preparing for his solo promotions and plugged it. A lot of people found it odd that he just brushed it off as weird rumors and then plugged his promotions. Now what gets weirder is when all these accusations started to come into light, people started to dig into his so-called company and found some shady things. One being the logo that is used for Wujin's so-called company is actually a logo for a furniture store. And the name 10X Entertainment was stolen from an American DJ company who specifically stated that they do not associate with him. The website for the company does not look official and was made on a note-taking app called Notion. So people have concluded that Wujin has made a fake account, maybe with the help of some of his friends, to scare his fans to show some sort of legality. However, it's extremely obvious that the company has no merit to it. But right now, that's all the information I have on this specific topic today. Leave a comment down below if you guys find any more evidence that you guys want me to include on the video. And please, once again, let me tell you guys, do not send hate to Eugen or Stray Kids or anyone else involved in this because the world has so much hate and we do not need to be spreading more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.